loves, it's Sam. I finally styled my hair for once in my life. Aren't you excited? I got inspired by the color of pansies that used to be in my garden when I was a little girl. I think pansies are such pretty flowers. I love the bright purples and and then we used to have pink snapdragons and so that's what inspired me. So basically the colors of flowers and that's, the, that's what spring is all about, is all the beautiful flowers. So I came up with this kind of soft, um, soft purplish eye and then a really bold kind of pinkish purplish bright lip. Obviously you don't have to do a bright lip. If, you, if you're someone who's not too like interested in a bright pink lip, you could do a really soft kind of pink or a nude. You know, you can always make it how you like it, but this is what I wanted to do. So I hope that you guys like the look. I will have pictures of my blog as well as all of the products that I used um, that will be listed there as well. So I hope that you like it and keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is apply my foundation in sand, the double wear for my Stay Lauder, which I always do with my Sigma F80. And if you're wondering why I'm squinting, really, really bright outside. So I can't really see very well. So <laughs> that's why I'm squinting. So I'm basically just gonna put some on my, the back of my hand and then just start buffing that into my face. You can just buff it in or just kind of go back and forth. It's really up to you. So I'm just gonna do a nice layer all over my face with that. Okay, I'm gonna apply my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer. So just in a nice kind of triangular shape and then blend it out with my Sigma P86. Blinded by the light. Okay. I'm going to put my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer on with my Sigma F40. So I basically just put that in my cheekbones, temples. My stomach is making some strange little noises right now. And then underneath my jaw, and then I just bring whatever's left on my brush down, and then underneath the lip, and then down the sides of my nose. Okay, for my blush today, I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my Lorac. This is Flaunt, the baked matte satin blush, and that's the color. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of that, tap it off on the back of my hand, and then apply that to the backs of my cheeks. When I wear purple, I do like to kind of go a little bit cooler with my blushes. Okay, and then as my highlight, I'm gonna use my Lorac Perfection. And I'm gonna put that on with my Sigma, or sorry, F86. So highest point of your cheekbones, or highest point of your cheeks, sides of the forehead, or whatever that's called right there. And then I do bring a little bit onto kind of the inner part of my cheek, upper lip, and then down the nose, and in the center of the forehead. And it just got really hot in here all of a sudden, so I think I'm gonna take my sweater off. I'm like really hot. Holy crud moly. Okay, that's better. I feel a little bit like I can breathe again. Um, okay, I'm gonna apply my eyebrows. Oh no, I'm not. I'm gonna put my primer on. I'm gonna take my MAC Paint in Bare Canvas. And I'm just gonna apply that with my fingers all over my eyelids. It's gonna ba basically help cancel any like unwanted discoloration, any redness or veins or anything like that. And then it's also gonna work for um, helping your eyeshadow stay all day without creasing. Okay, now I'm gonna apply my eyebrows. I just use MAC Lingering. I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals. This is the Ready Eyeshadow Quad. Uh, this is the dream sequence, so it's got all of the beautiful kind of purplish colors. So those are the colors that it comes with. I'm basically just going to use this entire quad, and I'm not going to use any other brands. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this white color right here, which is technically at the top, but the mirror is going to get in the way. And this is called 500 Thread Count. And I'm going to take my Sigma E55, and I'm going to put that right into my brow bone and this is really pretty because it's kind of like a nice white but it does have like a tiny tint of a like iridescent purple but it's not like whoa you've got purple on your eyebrow you know it's very very faint but it's a very nice highlight and these eyeshadows are really really nice by the way 
Okay, and then I'm gonna take that into my inner corner as well. With another E55, I'm gonna take this color right here, which is called Romp, and I'm gonna put that kind of all over my lower lid. And this is kind of like a, it's almost like a silverish, that's a really difficult color actually. It's like a very soft kind of silverish, grayish, purple or something. I don't know. It's a little bit hard to describe. And then with that other A55, I'm going to go over that with the white that we took on our brow bone and put that right on top. Just so you've got kind of a little bit of a tint of purplish down there. The next color I'm going to take is, this is, uh, well the brush that I'm using is the E40. And I'm going to take this color right here, which is Boudoir, and it's a beautiful iridescent purple. It's so pretty. I love it. And I'm basically going to put that right into my crease. It's so hard to describe this color, but when you put it on, it's like, it's very sheer, but it's just got this cool, like, I don't know, it's just really iridescent kind of, I can't describe it, but it's just so pretty. I love it. So I'm basically just going to take that all in my crease and then blend it up into that first white color that we put up up top. And you can see how it's just, um, I don't know, it changes where, whenever you move your head kind of thing. It's like a chameleon. Okay. And then with a slightly smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to take this one which is the E45. So you can see it's just a slight bit kind of more pointy at the tip. I'm going to take this color which is Nightcap and it's a matte, um, I say it's a matte plum. And I'm just going to put that right into the kind of outer corner just to kind of deepen that socket a little bit. And then I'm just going to kind of bring it up a little bit as well just to kind of give me a little bit more of a shape just so that there's a little bit more definition there. Um, I'm also going to take the other side of this brush which has got the E20 and I'm going to take a little bit of that purple, the bright purple, and just touch that a little bit underneath onto my lower lash line. I'm not going to put any liner on top or bottom because I want it to be kind of like bright and fresh and like, I don't know, I just always think of spring kind of bright eyes and like real ooh like that or something. So I'm just going to take my Maybelline XXL Pro extensions and I'm going to do two coats of my white. I actually need a new one because this is like getting a bit dry now. Uh, so I'm going to do two coats of the white and then two coats of the black. Okay, so eyes are done. So basically just a really kind of nice, just a nice bright spring purplish eye. For lips, hmm, what should I do? I think I might do something real quite fun with this because, ooh, that might be fun. Because it's springy wingy and it's spring is full of beautiful flowers and I want to look like a pansy. Yeah. My mom was like, she had the best green thumb ever. I have a black thumb, I kill everything. But we had a beautiful garden when we were little, or when I was little, and she was always out there in the summer. And we had tons of pansies and snapdragons, and I love those. Every time I see them, I think, I think of my mom now. Okay, so this is Raspberry from BH Cosmetics, and these are waterproof, so once you put them on, they won't come off, so they're really awesome, especially for events. So I'm basically going to fill in my whole lip and then just in the centers, leave it just a little bit. Okay, so my whole lip is filled in. Obviously, if you don't want to wear bright lipstick, you could always do a really pretty kind of soft pink lip. Um, Fashion Fanatic would be really pretty with this. Um, Girl Loves Boy Plush Glass would be really pretty as well. But I want to have nice bright lips. So I'm going to put Funtabulous from MAC. This is the Dazzle Glass. And I'm going to hit that right over that lip liner that I put down. And this is like a purple sparkly lip gloss. So once again, it's not for everyone. But if you do want to have like a really kind of bold statement lip, this is the perfect lip gloss for this. Especially if you are wearing purple. And by not filling in that middle, it just kind of gives you a boost, like, and makes the purple show a little bit more right there. So there is the finished look. Just a nice kind of bold, bright pink lip, nice purple soft eye, and 
you're all ready for spring. So thank you so much for watching. I will have a blog post with pictures of this look as well as all the products used listed. And then I might do something, I might like go and look for some little springy dresses and then post which ones I like on there so that you guys can see. Ooh, maybe that's cute. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.